everybody, it's Stacy from Storytime with Stacy. And as some of you know, I've been sharing stories with you for almost three years. I absolutely love sharing stories with you and I love seeing our online family grow. Without all of you, the channel wouldn't be where it is today. It's because of you, my team and I get to do what we love. But I didn't come on here to talk about the channel. I came on here to talk about something more personal. So let me start at the beginning. As much as I love to read other authors' wonderful stories, I have written a few myself. I love to write, mostly fiction. And to help polish up my stories and make me a better writer, I was a part of a writing workshop. This workshop for many years was like a second home to me. I made amazing friends that transformed my life. One of these friends was one of my writing teachers. His love for the written word was so inspiring. It made me want to become and still become a better writer. Although I haven't been back to the writing workshop in a few years, this place and the friends I made while there will always hold a special place in my heart. This is why I'm coming to you today. You see, my friend, the writing teacher, was in a horrible accident. While crossing the street at an intersection with the right-of-way, a car took a turn too fast, hitting Michael, that's my teacher's name, at 30 miles an hour, causing him to fall on the hood of the driver's car, hit the windshield, and then fall to the pavement. The car then proceeded to run Michael over. Miraculously, Michael lived. He suffered from severe head trauma and was in the ICU and then moved to a rehabilitation facility. The accident happened in the middle of January of this year and Michael finally was able to go home on March 22nd. Sadly, the driver was underinsured and Michael and his family are responsible for all the medical expenses. When I found out about this, I was just devastated. To hear that Michael will probably never be the same again and this accident changed the course of his and his family's life forever, I instantly knew that I had to help. I originally was going to just donate to Michael's GoFundMe, but a voice came inside my head and told me to go bigger, to help out on a larger scale. This is when I decided to host a virtual paint event. You know, one of those classes where someone teaches you step-by-step -step how to paint while you enjoy a beverage of your choice. For many years, I was a paint and sip instructor. I even owned my own studio at one point. I have many fond memories of working in that industry. So this is what I have decided to do. I have decided to come out of retirement and host an online paint and sip class. After discussing the theme with my team, we have decided to paint Larry. For those of you who don't know who Larry is, he is a character on our Storytime channel. And not only will I be teaching everyone how to paint Larry, I will be teaching everyone how to paint Larry dressed as Yoda. Yes, you heard me correctly. And doesn't Larry look great? There he is. All right, so the event will be taking place on May 4th, Star Wars Day, and the event will be held from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you may be wondering where this event will be held, and it will be held both on Facebook in a private group and on Zoom. So both options are a wonderful way to participate, but with the Zoom option, you will be able to chat and see all the participants that are also painting in Zoom, including Michael and his family. Yes, he will be painting with us. And they will also be giving everyone an update on how Michael's doing, which is really exciting. So Zoom will be open to 99 fabulous participants. So if this is something you are excited about, make sure to reserve your spot before all the spaces are filled up. So below in the description, there you'll be able to find a link where you can sign up and save your spot. And after you sign up, you will receive an email confirmation with further details, including a supply list for the paint class. And all the money raised from this event will be going directly to Michael and his family. If you can't make the event or want to donate more, there's no worries. I have also included the link to Michael's GoFundMe page where you can make another donation there. And I absolutely can't wait to paint with you on May 4th. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM, DM us or comment below. And also, if you could help out by sharing this post, 
Let's make this the most amazing virtual paint event ever! All right, I look forward to seeing you on May 4th. Bye, everybody.